we will now discuss the formula of the normal distribution, the plot and properties of this distribution, and experimentally show its significance. We can now see the formula of the normal distribution. This function has two parameters, mu and sigma. Mu stands for the mean or the expected value of the distribution. Sigma specifies the standard deviation. Let's now see the plot of this function when mean is 0 and variance equals 1. The plot for the Gaussian distribution is also known as the bell curve. Approximately 68% of the area of this distribution is within one standard deviation from the mean. Out of this 68%, 34% is to the right from the mean, and another half is to the left. What this means, is that any sample drawn from this distribution, has approximately 68% chance, of being drawn from within one standard deviation from the mean. If we continue in a similar fashion, we will find that 95% of the area under the curve, is within two standard deviations from mean, and 99.7% is within 3. This is called the 68-95-99.7 rule. The reason this distribution is popular in probability is because of the central limit theorem. The central limit theorem states that if we are obtaining samples containing many observations from any distribution, the distribution of the means of these samples will be approaching the normal distribution. Let's now conduct an experiment and show this is true. We will have a sample space of eight outcomes, given by the third line of the code. The corresponding probabilities of the outcomes, will be given by the fourth line of the code. For example, the probability of outcome to be minus 10, will be 0.2. On the line 5, we will take 25,000 samples containing 100 observations each, and find their mean. On the line 6, we will standardize the obtained data, so that it has zero mean and unit variance. If we now plot the histogram of the standardized means, we will see that it will closely resemble the normal distribution.